Hey guys, I'm back. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour of my basement. I probably did a little too fast. So if I did, tell me to slow down and show you more or, you know, not jiggle the camera around so much. Um, <laughs> just let me know. But yeah, we've done a lot of work. Uh, the last thing we have to do is get that sheeting on and I'm super excited. So tonight I'm exper experimenting with some um, different pouring mediums and I did not want to use a big canvas on something that I had not um, done before. So um, I've just been playing with some different methods, watching some different YouTube videos, and, and trying to get some things that um, might work for some of my projects, maybe definitely not all of them. Um, so this is kind of that bloom technique that lots of people show. Um, if this doesn't work, I think I might take the Shelly Art class um, and see how that goes. Um, but anyway, so I'll get started. So this is the pillow. And yeah, so I just, I didn't want to do big canvases for something that I'd never tried before. I just thought that doesn't sound like a good um, way to spend my money. So um, I have some ideas for other canvases that I want to paint that don't include this, but this is just something I've been wanting to try and experiment with to get some of these cells. So this is Amsterdam uh, turquoise green. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to use the uh, turquoise green first. I'm going to use Amsterdam, it's ultramarine, no, permanent blue violet. Just kidding. <laughs> I know my colors, I swear. Um, so this is Amsterdam um, permanent blue violet. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this on here. So hopefully you can see this color. It's super pretty. And now I'm going to put the Liquitex Basics fluorescent pink on. And now I'm going to put the turquoise green on by Amsterdam. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to grab a piece of wax paper. Hold on just a second. So I also got a new microphone. So hopefully you guys can hear me a little bit better. Um, not only is this microphone higher quality, but it's also um, wireless in a sense that the wire is not connected to my camera or my phone. It's connected. It's got like a little radio frequency device, which I just think is totally cool. It makes me feel very um, into the century than that wireless one did. All right. So I'm going to do it couple different tries of this here. And okay. Now I might have done this wrong. That's why we have coasters to try on.
Okay, let's see. is actually pretty cool. I also ordered a light to go above me rather than in front of me. Um, so hopefully, and I got that from Ikea. I'm really hoping it comes soon because it can get really tough to see in here. And the light that I have for my studio light, when I have it close by me and, <laughs> and, um, and I'm using this higher quality camera, unfortunately, it uh, also makes me show my age. <laughs> no one, nobody wants to show their age, um, especially if they're not that old like me, because I am not old, I swear. So I think maybe on the next one I do here, I might use a little bit more. This is beautiful, by the way, don't get me wrong. But I think I'm going to use a wee bit more um, of the pillow. So that way I can have um, more to work with as it's running over the sides. more to actually run over the sides. This actually came came out really pretty. Okay guys, so I'm back and while we wait for the other one to dry, because um, I went ahead and just washed it. That's a great thing about experimenting with these um, bisque uh, rounds is that they just wash off so easily if everything um, becomes a mess. So I'm just going to put a little bit more of this on here because I just don't know that I had enough on last time. I'm going to go back and start with the um, permanent blue violet again. Now I mixed a little bit more pouring medium in this time so it's a little bit, let's see if I can find where you are, it's a little bit thinner. Um, and if you guys hear that whining that is my dog because I have locked her at the top of the stairs by a door, mind you. <laughs> so here we go. Um, let's get some of this on here. So this seems like it's a little bit thinner, which is good. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that there. Go with the fluorescent pink which I think is an absolutely gorgeous color. Yeah, it looks like we're doing a little bit better this time. And then now I'm gonna go with the turquoise green. Where that dog is not being tortured, <laughs> unless you count being locked away from her mother as torture. Right. Let's see how this goes.
definitely getting more cells this time, which is awesome. And let me do a little swipe test here. See if I get anything else. Definitely getting something else here. Do a little bit of black. Now with this bloom recipe, I would be uh, hard pressed to ever put a torch to this <laughs> because of uh, the ingredients that it called for. So now, I don't know. I got more cells. Maybe I shouldn't have put the black on. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, hold on guys. Wipe that off. Try again. Hold on just a second. So hopefully you guys are of the mind of if it you know if it fails, try try again. Um, it's kind of my motto. Um, just do it once. Do it twice three times, but make sure you're changing something every time so you're not meeting the definition of insanity. Um, but you know, eventually you'll, you figure out what works for you. Let's see. And then makes you happy. Okay. Now, something tells me my pillow is like a little too thick, but we'll get there. So again, permanent blue violet. Fluorescent pink. Because why not? And then turquoise green. I can see why people use the spinners on these.
Now my middle is staying in place because I blew so much of it out. So I'm trying to get some paint back to it. And now I'm going to go sure you guys can see this. There we go. And that is gorgeous. Okay. It looks like even more cells are forming. So that was it. That was the mixture. So I think one, I needed more of the pillow. Two, I needed um, to spread the paint out a little bit more, and I think three, um, one, two, <laughs> three, three. I needed to, um, I think, uh, do a little bit more of the cell activation. So it definitely, it is. There are some popping up cells still. Um, I'm definitely going to continue playing with this recipe and paints. Um, but yeah, this is this is really neat. This is a lot of fun. I'm not probably getting some of the supercells that some of these Shelly Art people can do, but wow, right now I will take this as a win um, and move this one on and do a couple more. So bear with me. I'm gonna um, get some cleaner supplies here and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so since that went so well, I decided to mix up another paint to kind of um, interlace with some of these colors just to see what that will get me now. Um, like I said, it's an experiment night. Um, and what would be an experiment if you didn't throw some variables in there? Right, my science geeks? <laughs> so let's uh, do this heavy pillow again because that seemed to work. All right, and I'm gonna do the same color, the um, permanent blue violet on the bottom. But what I'm gonna do is between these colors, I'm gonna put a, it's pearl pastel green. So, all right, got the purple. So now I'm gonna put a little pearl pastel green on there. So I just mix this up, it's really pretty, it's Arteza. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of that in there. And then I'm going to do the, per the fluorescent pink again. So again, the fluorescent pink. Um, spread it all around because why not? Art is not supposed to be within the lines, right? So I am a soccer coach and I always tell the littlest kids um, to stay outside the lines when they're running uh, their laps around the field. And all the parents always laugh because it's like, you know, the teachers are always say, stay within the lines, stay within the lines. And I'm like, go outside the lines. So that's um, always a good laugh. All right, so I'm just going to put a little bit more of this pearl pastel green on here because, again, why not? Druzy this everywhere. All right, let's see what we get with this one now.
that, my friends, is also really pretty. I'm just going to run some of this paint around, spread these cells out. Hopefully you guys can see this well. You can see how pretty that is. I've got my focus set down to like right here, so you probably can't see how pretty this is, but don't worry when I get through with all these tests, I will bring you guys down for a closer look. I'm just kind of moving the paint around to get these uh, lacings where I like them to be. Yeah, I think adding that pearl color really, really brought out the lacing. Um, so they still look similar to the two that I've done so far, um, but this one has some a lot more like cell popping, cell activation, like um, some lots more lacing in it than the other one did. So I'm I'm liking adding in the pearl. I think I might um, play with another pearl here in a second. Um, maybe even a. Um, silver or something like that. So give me a minute and again, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. Um, not that you probably even noticed any time <laughs> lapsing, but uh, I am back. And um, so I'm going to do just two more coasters. Um, so I'm going to do the original one that I um, washed off and then of course this one so I can have a set because um, it would kind of be silly just to test all these and not to make something worth selling. So again, I'm going to do the same order. Um, so I've got the purple, or, you know, what did I call it? I can't remember. <laughs> Permanent blue violet. I don't know what's wrong with my memory. Um, so i get a little bit more. And I really like, um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know, like, Purple is like my absolute favorite color, so I like that the base on this is purple. So I liked mixing the um, pastel pearl or pearl pastel green in between the colors. So I'm going to do that this time again, just a little bit less, and then I'm going to put it's um, pearl white by Arteza. Um, you'll notice I, I like Arteza a lot, um, so. And I'm also trying to move away from popsicle sticks and get into more reusable, um, like these tiny spatulas that I got on Amazon. I'll link them down below because I don't want to waste popsicle sticks, um, waste trees when these can be used for so many um, other projects or we can just, you know, keep the trees in the ground. Um, okay, so let's get that pink on. Again, just going, kind of going everywhere. Yeah, quite a bit more in the middle there. Okay, then I'm going to do the pastel, pearl pastel green. And again, you're about to hear my dog bark, so um, that would be Blaze. He's now down here. All my dogs are now down here. So I have Blaze, Glory, and Ira here to keep me company. Oops, now I've got the turquoise green. more of just the pearl white on top and then I'm going to go with the activator this is really spreading out fast I probably put way too much paint on here but that's okay I will make jewelry out of all of this. All right, so let's go.
this down. I don't see that the adding the white did too much to the the lacing. The pearl white didn't add too much to the lacing. I'm not sure if you guys can see that yet, but you will when I bring you down for a look at all of them. So I think for the time being, I'm just going to stick with the um, turquoise, the pearl pastel green, rather than add rather than adding both. Just trying to get some of these cells to mix. I want to get them to where the composition looks similar to the other ones, but I'm having an issue with this one. So I'm definitely going to think that either A, I use too much purple or too much pillow or a combination of the two. I am actually going to just go ahead and scrape this one. Um, again, don't fear, I do reuse all of this to make jewelry. Um, that's why I like to keep it here. Um, now if I could only find a better way to do gloves, we'd be in business. I'm going to try to do this with one hand, making the mess. Alright, there's my purple. And I've got a uh, munchkin trying to make her way into my movie here. Alright, wait, what? I'm not a munchkin. I'm a fluffy munchkin. Uh, yep, a fluffy munchkin. Um, shh, shh, Clarissa, please stop. I've got paintings right there. Let's see if I can do this. I'm actually going to grab another glove. All right. That worked a lot better. Just going to slide this paint around just a little bit. So maybe you guys can see what I'm doing. Just trying to stretch those cells out before I get it to come back this way. See my middle is kind of stuck there from blowing it out, but it actually looks really good and a lot like the other two that I've done already. Okay, come back with it. Let's see if you guys can tell what's going on. All right, 
it I like it oops move this one out of the way and we have one more to do oh last one we're gonna go back to that original one we're gonna do the pillow okay and then we're gonna go back to the purple going to the pearl pastel green for some hopefully lacing effects fluorescent pink and then the pearl pastel green again Then the turquoise green. There we go. Then my crazy white. this bad boy up for whatever reason it is sliding Oh wow. Yeah, that is so awesome. Okay. So, I am going to clean up my hands. Um clean up my workstation here just a little bit and then bring you guys down in for a closer look at all of these beautiful test subjects that I now can with confidence go into painting on a canvas with these. Um, so guys, you know, I do really suggest, especially if you're getting into this, I saw um, my friend Amy um, is, is getting into resin and, and stuff like that. So um, my suggestion is if you're just getting into this, don't just go and, and buy like a bajillion canvases. They're super expensive. Although Jerry's Artorama really gives some great deals. Um, if you buy in bulk, but um, don't just go and like buy these super expensive canvases and just throw this paint on there and just hope for the best. I, I, I learned kind of the hard way that that's not the best way to go. Not, not that I did super large expensive canvases, but I definitely did, um, you know, some smaller canvases and, and most of them have turned out great, but some of them I, you know, had to scrape and scrape and scrape until I got them to be uh, where I wanted them to be. And now I've realized with these coasters, not only are they like something cool that you can sell one off in your shop, but they are also um, really easy to clean up. It, I mean, you saw, I just used my spatula, scraped the paint off and, you know, started again. With, with a canvas, you can do the same thing, but it's, you know, canvases you're working with a lot more and you don't really want to waste all that paint. So um, again, let me get this cleaned up. Let me um, kind of clean up my space here and I'll bring you in for a closer look and I'll see you in a second. 